Hi friends, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, the process which we have to follow to reset MySQL root user password. Root user is also called admin user in database. To reset it, we have to follow couple of steps and uh, we will be discussing those in uh, this session. First thing, uh, it will take uh, outage of your database. You have to shut down your database. So first you have to stop your database, then you have to boot your database in uh, fail safe mode where uh, you will skip uh, grant tables. What it means you will not refer table for password information and uh, then you will log into DB and reset the root password. Then stop the database which is currently running in safe mode. At the end start it normally and uh, test it. So these are the theoretical steps basically. And now we will begin our technical session where uh, we will uh, try it practically. Hi friends, uh, so if you can see my screen, uh, let's check uh, what's the status of MySQL processes. I can check using ps command mysql if you see mysql is running or i can use systemctl systemctl status mysql dot service so mysql is running so as i said first thing we have to stop this database i will use systemctl to shut it down gracefully systemctl stop mysql dot service enter so command exited let's check what's the return code of this command zero it means command exited successfully but to be sure like uh, no process is running we have to run ps command if you see uh, no process is running that's output only of uh, grep that's fine so database is stop now first thing we have to do we have to boot database in uh, safe mode to do so let me clear my screen here sorry to boot uh, database in safe mode, we can use mysql d underscore safe and we are ch choosing option skip grant tables. It means uh, it will not refer uh, tables for uh, password. If you remember, I told you there is a default mysql database created in uh, mysql uh, that contains uh, all user and password related information. So we are skipping that. And uh, if you notice, I'm running it in background. So make sure you are running it in background. That's a requirement. Okay, so process is started. That's in safe mode. And uh, we have to log into MySQL now. MySQL minus U root. Here I'm not using minus P because I want to reset password. I don't remember existing password. Enter. So if you see, I logged into database without a password. So I will use database, use MySQL. As we discussed in previous section, MySQL is the database which contains information about all users on the server. So to update password, I will use command update user set password is equal to, uh, that's a keyword password in caps. In this way, information is saved in database. So I'm just updating that. Then braces, I'm setting new password. So new password, you can set uh, whatever you want. For let's say I want to set it to lab password, okay, lab password. So I have to remember, otherwise I have to repeat same activity if I miss that. This is close, where user is equal to root. So I'm forcing a uh, wherever user is equal to root, the set password to lab password. In, this is the table basically, in this table. So update table, in that table, update this entry, password entry to this password, wherever in the table you found uh, there is a root is mentioned. Enter, so it gives some um, error. Why, because if you see here, it was typo. Let's change it. Let me copy paste. Set password is equal to password. 
rest looks good to me so I hope this time it should work enter if you see our password is updated it uh, checked there there were three rows in which root was there so it changed all three rows and uh, as we discussed in previous lectures uh, we have to flush the privilege mean now we have to activate the changes so then we have to quit okay so friends uh, now password is changed but database is still running in safe mode so we have to stop database i'm using mysql the daemon command to stop the database it will shut down our database and uh, confirm us okay if you see our database shutdown is complete okay now i i have to start database i'm using system ctl system ctl start mysql dot service it is failed saying something bad with journal let's see what is saying system ctl status it is saying failed services enabled mm. why because processes were running even uh, i stopped my database so let me stop it again stop mysql dot service okay now stop let's see whether processes are running or not if you see still processes are running so that's a bad situation uh, i am in i will continue with this session let me stop it again stop and uh, let's check still running so man i have only one option i have to kill these processes uh, kill minus 9 okay instead of killing i can do one thing i can log into database and uh, shut down database within mysql first because uh, anyhow service is not stopping it so that's troubleshooting so friends uh, we are not able to shut down database processes are still running uh one thing which we can do we can use mysql admin commands mysql admin minus u root minus p p for it will prompt for password and run shutdown enter we are entering new password which we recently resetted that's a lab password enter so it is saying done this time let's verify cool man uh, so you can keep note of this command to shut down database if uh, you are not able to shut down using mysql the stop command so that's handy command okay so our database is down now let's start database using system ctl now system ctl start my sql dot service my sql dot service here yeah, looks good let's verify return code zero it mean this time it started so man this command was handy just make a note of this command uh, if you are troubleshooting some database issues so database is running fine now one thing we can check uh, i will log into database uh, using our new password uh, here without space i have to specify password uh, that was lab password uh, i'm just trying to log in uh, i want to show you new password is working this is what this was the new password which we recently resetted here it's mysql mysql minus u root minus p password if you see we are in database so it mean password uh, is successfully resetted and uh, thanks friends for watching in this session uh, that was a bonus along with simple procedure we got a couple of issues and i want to keep those issues in video so that uh, that will be actual learning what kind of issues you can face thanks for watching this video and uh, stay tuned on my channel for uh, latest videos thanks a lot